this. The left, truly apoplectic over a string of immigration raids and arrests. 75% of the illegal immigrants arrested had prior criminal records. Their offenses included homicide, sexual assault, sexual assault of a minor. All rise, Judge Andrew Napolitano is here. The left is up in arms yeah. over this, let, let me, and I don't get I, it. I think I understand their, their complaint, but it's inconsistent with the law. So the people we're talking about came into the United States either legally or illegally, committed a crime while here, were charged, prosecuted, convicted, and served their time in jail here, got out of jail, and now are subjects of deportation. To the left, they have paid back their debt to society and should be left alone. To the law, it says, they are subject to deportation. In fact, the law says shall be deported. President Obama sometimes deported, sometimes didn't. Even President Reagan sometimes deported and sometimes didn't. Reagan preferred, and Obama did, actually agreed on this, a sort of case-by-case -case approach. So if this person who would get out of jail is married to a, an American woman and they have American children, it might cause hardship on them to deport them. So fast forward to today. We have a new president who says, if they committed crimes of violence and paid their time and now are free, I'm going to deport them. He began that process of deportation last week, and now we see the, the uproar by the people who feel they paid their price to society, they preserved their time in jail, leave them alone. Where do you stand on that? If they paid their price, if they served their time, and now they're out, because they're maybe still illegal, but they're out, should they well, be Well, sometimes it tugs at my heartstrings, but the president took an oath to uphold the law faithfully, whether he agrees with it or not. Madison put the word faithfully in the oath intentionally to remind presidents that they have to enforce laws, even those with which they disagree. So the law says, shall be deported. So for a crime of violence, I think they should be deported. If it's not a crime of violence, some people are actually rehabilitated. Very few, but some are actually rehabilitated after time in jail, and they come back and live uh, lawful lives. I think there's an element of deliberate confusion here. Okay, but I have to tell you an another aspect of this which you won't like. Before the deportation, they are entitled to a trial and an appeal. And if they can't afford a lawyer, the government will pay for a lawyer. So the government pays for the prosecutor and the defense lawyer at the trial. The government pays for the prosecutor and the defense lawyer at the appeal. The government pays for the judge. Do you know what it costs per deportation for all those legal proceedings? Tell me. $250,000 per deportation paid for by the American taxpayer. In which case, the left can delay and delay and delay and run up the tax. Well, it is, it is an argument the left makes, which sounds like an argument you or I might make, save government money, not or so, taxpayer dollars. So, not all these people are worthy of investing a quarter of a million dollars to deport them. Some of them are essentially harmless. So you'd be happy if we just went after murderers, rapists, child molesters who well, have been convicted. I would be happy if we went did. after people who are a threat to public safety or to the national security. Who makes that determination? The president, not the courts, the president. So the courts are still in a position to stop the deportation of a maid, for example, who has a child in the United States who may have come here illegally. But we could, you, could, you don't have to prosecute that. Yes, you? yes, correct. That's discretion correct. available that is, that is the reason for which they're entitled to a trial and an appeal. This is a trial before an immigration judge. This is not a trial before a federal district court judge. These are judges who just hear these immigration cases. What you're telling me is the left has a weapon by which they can delay and delay yes, and run and, up the tab and, for the and tax part of that and weapon, force the administration to back off. Part of that weapon is emotional and part of that weapon is rational. Mm. Is it really worth spending $250,000 to yep. deport this person when there are other people here that are more of a threat? That constitution, I tell you. Yes, yes, it gets in the way of the government, as it should. Okay, okay, Does okay. Does that okay. happen in Great Britain? Okay, 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 okay. Now, where's your red next tie for Valentine's <laughs> Day? Oh, jeez. Oh, what's in Valentine? Isn't it a Polish saint? <laughs> a Polish <laughs> St. Valentine, Polish a saint? Polish saint. He was Italian. No, he no, wasn't. He was His name was Valentino. He was Polish. <laughs> Valentino? <laughs> what do I know? Valentina. Oh, I didn't know that. Look, we're all I know. Yeah, we're Your out of time. Executive producer's yeah. killing me. You're, You're killing me. Sure. All right. <laughs>